Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 33 of November 2013 for A level math, obviously. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So, let's move on to question number one. So, here we have what? Given that 2 ln of x plus 4 minus ln of x equal to this thing. Now, eventually, we have to make x become the subject of the formula in terms of a. So, one by one, let's proceed. Let's trust the steps. So here we can send the power on top by the laws of logarithms. You have ln of x plus 4 power 2 minus ln of x equal to ln of x plus a. Now we can combine those two together because here we have the same ln. And this is obviously minus here. I can combine them together. You have ln. You have this one over here divided by x is equal to ln of x per se. There you go. Now, since we have ln on both sides, they will cancel out. Right. So now you will have what? Now you will have? We will have simply x plus 4 square is equal to, we can send this one over here, becomes x square plus xa. Right. Now what else can we do? Expand this one, let's see what happens. You will have x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal to x squared plus xa. Now this and this will cancel out. If I bring all the x on one side, you will have 8x minus xa is equal to minus 16. All right, so factorize x now. 8 minus a, that will be minus 16. So x will be your value of minus 16 over 8 minus a. Now this is obviously one way of writing this, or you can write, obviously, 16 over a minus 8. This could also be your answer as well. Now this is your question number one. Okay, so let's move on to question number two here. So here we have to use the substitution of u equal to this, to find this integral. Now, here we have 3x plus 1, which is great, which is just u, but here we have 3x. Can we do something about this? Mm, yes, of course. So 3x will be the value of u minus 1. Fair enough. Now here we have dx, so we have to find. Again, u was given to you by 3x plus 1. So du by dx will be what? That will be differentiated, that will be just 3. Here you go. Thus, from here, you can see, well, dx have to be du over the value of 3. Now, replace everything back in here. You have integration of. This is the value of u minus 1 divided by u du. And this is over the value of 3. Now, obviously, uh, the 3, it is only a multiple. We can leave this outside. Now, we can break this down. u divided by u is 1 minus 1 over, over u du. Now this will be 1 over 3. That will be u minus ln of of u. Now of course you have to write plus c at the end for the constant of integration. And then we can expand 1 over 3. u minus 1 over 3 ln of u plus c. Now don't forget, what is u? u again, it is 3x plus 1. So bring it back, you will have 1 over 3 times 3x plus 1, minus 1 over 3, ln of 3x plus 1. Plus c, and this is your answer for question number 2. Let's move on to your question number 3. So here we have a polynomial, uh, which is f of x, defined by this equation. Now, where a is a constant, good to know. Given that this one is a factor, so now we have seen this question many times before, Whenever we have a factor, it means that your function divided by the factor, the remainder will be 0. Now, for what value of x? So, pretty easy. We take the factor, we equate to 0. It means when x is equal to minus 2, my remainder will be 0. So, we place here. f takes in the value of minus 2 should be minus 2 cubed plus a times minus 2 squared minus a times minus 2 plus 14 and they have to give you 0 according to your question. Simplify. Minus 8 plus 4a plus 14 
plus 2a plus 14 have to be 0. This will be 6a, obviously. Now minus 8 plus this one should be uh, plus 6. a will be minus 1. This is your answer for part 1 for the value of a. Now, when a has this value, which is minus 1, uh, we have to show that this equation has only one real root. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's, let's try to show this, no problem. So uh, we have now the equation is f of x is x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 14. This is my equation for f of x. Now we do know when you divide by this one, this is my factor, you have no remainder. So again, why, I'm, why, why am I doing this? I'm trying to find the other factor of my function. So how do you make x become this one? How to multiply by x squared? You have x, 3 plus 2x squared. This will go away. That will be minus 3 x squared plus x plus 4, 14. Now how would you make x become this one? Have to multiply by minus 3 x. So you have minus 3 x squared minus 6x. This will go away. And this will become 7x plus 14. So finally, how would you make x become 7? Multiply by plus 7, obviously. That will become 7x plus 14. And eventually, you have 0 here as your remainder, as expected. So finally, f of x is going to be what? What value? Equal to my factorization, which is x plus 2 multiplied by x squared minus 3x plus 7. Now, the equation we want to solve is this same thing, but equate to 0, which is what? Which is x plus 2 is 0, so x will be minus 2. It is one of the roots that we have. Now, I believe this is the only one we will have, but we have to check if this is also going to give you something or not. Here you will have x squared minus 3x plus 7 is 0. So x could be found by using your formula, obviously. You will have b squared, which is uh, so minus, so of course, first is minus b, that will be 3, plus minus b squared minus 4ac. So let's try this. That will be b squared is 9, minus 4 times a times c. That will be minus 19, divided by 2, a, which is 2. Now you can see, well, for this reason why, it shows that it is imaginary root. This is why we only have one real root. So as you would say, well, x minus 2 is the only real root of this equation, is the only real root. Okay, and this is your answer for question part two of three. Now let's move on to question number four. So here we have an equation, uh, a curve, have equation this. And what we have to do with that, we have to find the gradient of the curve at this point. So pretty simple. As always, whenever I say gradient, we have to think of what? dy by dx. So we have to find this one at this point. This is x value and y value. Now, what is the equation again? We have to write this down properly. It is 3 exponential 2xy plus exponential xy cubed equal to 14. So we have to find the value of dy by dx first. So uh, step by step, how would you do this? So first, we have to use the product rule. You will have 3 exponential this one times d by dx of this one. That should be 1, but dy by dx of the back plus this one, then d by dx of this one, that should be 6 exponential 2x. First one done. Then plus, same thing here, this one, 3y squared dy by dx, plus y cubed, this one, that will be 0. Because again, this is a constant over here, differentiate, that will be 0. Now we can factorize. So this one, the dy by dx together, so you will have dy by dx factorized. You will have 3 exponential, this one. And here we have the value of plus exponential x, 
3 y squared is equal to send everything to the left hand side the rest you will have uh, well, minus 6y exponential this one minus y cube exponential x so finally we can find dy by dx obviously will be what will be the same thing over here which is a minus 6 y exponential 2x minus y cube divide by this one this one this is your dy by dx now we have to evaluate this value when x is equal to 0 and y is 2 from this point so just replace and see what happens you have minus 6 uh, times 2 exponential 0 minus y is 8 exponential 0 divide by 3 exponential 0 plus 3 times 2 square exponential 0 simplify now anything power 0 is 1 we should know this that will be minus 12 minus 8 divide by the value of 3 this is 3 times 4 is 12 that will be minus 20 over the value of 15 divided by 5 minus 4 over over 3 and this is your answer for question number 4 your gradient will be minus 4 over 3 at this point the description below and click on this link to access the patreon page for the full video with that being said good luck and thank you for watching